Dr. Jang's Play Math. Hello, my Play Math friends. It's Dr. Jang. I'm so glad you came to see me. Today's story is about a family who went to the circus and saw different animals make different kinds of shapes. Are you curious to know what happened at the circus? Don't forget to watch all the way through, because when I finish the book, a fun after reading activity will follow. Are you ready for a story? Circus Shapes by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Edward Miller. The circus is in town, and we all get to go. Our seats are way up high. We're ready for the show. The ringmaster arrives in a funny little car. A man on stilts walks in. He's a favorite circus star. Elephants make a circle and then march around and around. Circles. The circus band starts playing. The tent fills up with sound. White horses make a triangle. Three corners and three sides. Triangles. The clowns are pulling wagons. The dancing dogs get rides. Some monkeys make a square. The four sides are all the same. Squares. The lions start their roar. They aren't very tame. The bears form a rectangle, two sides short and two sides long. Rectangles. Acrobats are twirling to a special circus song. Circus shapes are everywhere. The tent is all aglow. How many circles, triangles, squares, and rectangles can you find? The ringmaster blows his whistle. It's time to end the show. The end. Let's do a fun after reading activity. To do this activity, you'll need a tray, wooden geometric shapes, and small containers. Place all the shapes on the tray and have kids sort them by shape into the correct container. This activity helps kids to develop their shape identification skills and solidify their understanding of the two-dimensional shapes. Once kids get used to the activity, increase the number of shapes. Thank you for watching Playmath. 
to read more math picture books and do after reading activities, subscribe to this channel. See you next time!